Long before World of Tanks was released, the first community of players started to form. There were alpha and beta testers who created entire websites with their own regulations and rules for accepting new tankers. Those were the prototypes of the first clans. As soon as clan functionality was added to the game, the number of communities started to grow even more rapidly. We realized that clans needed something bigger. The global map was aimed at solving this problem. In February 2011, the World War broke out in World of Tanks, a never-seen-before confrontation of clans. The global map consisted of 178 provinces in Europe, stretching from Great Britain all the way to the Urals. At first, the battles were fought on one server using just one prime time, 2100 Moscow time. Later, the number of provinces increased significantly, and prime time hours were now tied to their real geographic location. The conquering of territories began. The landing provinces were located along the perimeter of the map. The farther from the landing point a province was, the more gold it would bring to a clan. The most profitable provinces were the ones that represented capitals and big cities. But you had to become practically invincible and win dozens of battles in a row to reach them. Clan alliances divided the territories and fierce clashes began. The more powerful alliances painted the map in their colors. For example, Clan Red dominated in almost all of Europe and Asia. Its main opponent was the Anti-Red Coalition. Diplomacy, various ploys, intrigue, and even open trolling were used in this standoff. Sometimes the alliances sent spies to infiltrate the opponents. Wriggling into favor, they would leak information about the position of chips on the map and get destroyed in battle fast. The most talented spies even managed to reach the position of commanders and play dirty tricks on their opponents from within. New clan members were carefully selected. They needed to have a serious interview at a recruiting station and their clan history was meticulously checked. There was a clear role separation in powerful clans. The clan commanders had deputies who would give out gold to other clan members recruit experienced players, engage in diplomacy, and fight a war of words with opponents on the forum. All this was part of a strategy for a successful campaign on the global map. As a result, clans turned into very strong communities, which took the game to a new level. And the global map became a separate ecosystem in World of Tanks with its own rules and regulations.